The villain has a crafty plan. The sheriff bets a hundred crowns. But Robin rescues Marion and makes them look like clowns. Excuse me, my Lord Sheriff, but the Count of Severn wishes to see you. If I may say so, my Lord, he's in no mood for waiting. Have you heard what he's done now? Robin Hood, I mean. The gold, the gold for Prince John. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard that the outlaws have stolen the gold shipment. Well, I'm taking steps... Ah, the... taking steps. That's what you always say. This time, my Lord Sheriff, it's serious. If Prince John... Pray be sir. seated, Count. Robin Hood has cost the aristocrats of this shire thousands of crowns. I am well aware of that, Count. Catching him is not as easy as you seem to think. He has the serfs on his side. They hide his men, they help him escape me. They give him information. Did it occur to you that it might not be the serfs who give him information? What are you suggesting? That one of the local aristocracy is a spy. Lieutenant, wait outside. The name, my lord? Marion Fitzwalter. Lady Marion? What serf could have known we were sending the gold to Prince John? On the other hand, Lady Marion was with us at dinner when we discussed the matter. Marion consorting with a common outlaw, it's ridiculous. The fellow may be an outlaw, but he comes of a good family, remember. <laughs> I don't believe it. Nevertheless, if Marion is guilty, it's your duty to catch her. If she's guilty. I have a plan. Rather a good one, if I do say so. What sort of plan? Do you know where we could borrow a baby for a day or two? Borrow a... I'm a busy man, Sir Byrne. This is no time for joking. Let me finish. I propose that this infant should be left in Sherwood Forest in such a manner that the outlaws are certain to find it. I see. Then, if your suspicions are correct, you think that Robin Hood will send for Lady Marion to take the child off his hands? Exactly. Once you catch Marion with the child, her guilt is established. Not so fast, my lord. If he doesn't send for her, you'll be willing to admit that your suspicions are unfounded? Yes. But I'll wager a hundred crowns that he will send for her. Very well, my lord. On Marion's behalf, I accept your wager. We'll put your plan to the test at once. I'm eager to be a hundred crowns the richer. Lieutenant! Is Giles on duty today? Yes, my lord. At the north gate. Send him in. Giles is just the man we want. I collected the birth tax on his first child only last month. Birth tax? Do you mean your men-at-arms have to pay you a tax every time their wives give birth? Certainly. Taxing them discourages large families. A man with a large family grows cautious, and cautious men make poor soldiers. <clears throat> ah, Giles. Well, there's no need to look so worried, man. I merely wish to inquire after your baby. Is she doing well? Oh, she's doing very nicely, thank you, my lord. I've never seen such a bonny little soul, and never a sound out of her either. Mm, splendid. I should like to see her, wouldn't you, my lord Severn? Yes, indeed. Why don't you go home and get her, my good man? Oh, right away, my lord. The wife will be honoured. She'll bring her up herself. No, there's no need for that. I wish to borrow the child for a day or two. You mean, leave the baby alone with you, sir? You'll get her back in a day or two. I'm sorry, my lord, but I'm afraid my wife and I would have words about that. Then you'd better see that you have the last word, hadn't you? You don't know my kit, my lord. Nor do I wish to. The guard changes in two hours. Have the child here by then, or you'll be placed under arrest. And you'll lose your post. We're going out in just a moment. There's a good girl. Ah, oh, 
Arthur, you brought the baby at last. I'm late, my lord. Let me go, you big bully. What's going on out there? <laughs> my wife, it's like I told you. Give that baby to me this instant. All right, let her go. <laughs> You're right, Giles. She is a bonny little thing. Takes after her mother. That's nice of you to say, my lord. I assure you, no harm will come to her. I only want to borrow her for a couple of days. A couple of days? I wouldn't dream of such a thing. Give her to me immediately. Kate, for the love of heaven, do you want me to lose my livelihood? Woman, your baby has been chosen to do a notable service for Prince John. I don't give a hoot for Prince John. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord, she didn't mean that. We're honored to be of service. You keep the baby. Lieutenant. You know my lord's plan. Put it into operation at once. Yes, my lord. Oh, there, there, my child. What's the matter? That man, he's got my baby. The sheriff took her from me. Oh, come now. Why would the sheriff take away your baby? Well, he did. And the other man said something about helping Prince John. What other man? The, the Count de Severn. Really? I wonder what he's doing in Nottingham. Derwent's arrow. Better see what he wants, little John. Right. What's wrong? There's a column of smoke rising over that way. Come on, let's go. Must have been out here for hours. It's blankets wet with dew. We'll soon fix the little lad up. Just give him a hot bath and some venison stew to eat. He'll be all right. Imagine anyone abandoning a nice little felony lad like him. Ought to be ashamed of themselves. Little mite. He probably belongs to some poor serf with too many mouths to feed already. Well, he can be our mascot. He's welcome to share what we've got. Yes. And when he grows up, we'll teach him to ride and shoot and hunt. <coughs> Poor little fellow, he's hungry. Oh, uh, hungry. What do we do about it? Milk's what they have. Look, go and get some goat's milk. We can warm up. Right away, Robin. I've got a, a wine keg we can make into a cradle. But he's all covered in leaves. He needs a bath. And a change of linen. Oh, look. Raising a baby is no job for outlaws. I'm going to send for Marion. What do we want Marion for? She wouldn't want a baby to bring up. Well, not until she's married, anyway. He won't be any trouble. No trouble at all. You leave it to us. Send for Lady Marion, indeed. I told you to get some goat's milk, not a whole goat. I thought this would be easier. I, I borrowed him from Lord Severn. Fine little lad. <laughs> well, there you are, young fellow, my lad, eh? Here. Look, you live to strike terror into the sheriff's heart yet, eh? <laughs> Feels good. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Mm. Looks good. 
Just a fine lad for you. <laughs> Come on, young man. Let's see how your new cradle fits, eh? Sorry. His bath's ready. Come on. <laughs> Little John, isn't it about time that someone around here started to think of their responsibilities? Don't worry, Robin. I'll see to give the baby a good bath. I don't mean the baby. I mean work. What about salting down the meat and tanning those hides and sending them down to the village? <laughs> <laughs> We're a fine bunch of numbskulls. What do you mean? Well, I mean this bow and arrow won't be any use. I shall have to make a doll. <laughs> He's a girl. Okay. <laughs> no, Derwin. No making of dolls and, and no building of cradles. This is an outlaw camp, not a, not a nursery. There's work to be done and you better get started with it now. But the little girl. Well, she, she needs a woman to look after her. I'm going to send for Marion right away. Oh. oh. Marion, thank you for coming so quickly. You are a wonderful girl. All right, Robin, out with it. You didn't send for me just to make a pretty speech. Well, I do need your help. Come along, I have something to show you. <coughs> Where does she come from? Who does she belong to? Us. Woke up this morning and there she was, practically at our doorstep. What about her parents? They obviously didn't want her. We do, though. It's kind of homely having a baby about the place. Aye, that it is. They're not serious. You men can't raise a baby right here in the Greenwood. Well, of you course we can. It's... Little John, how could you? Don't you know better than that? Well, anyway, I'm taking her back with me while she's still healthy. No, There's okay. no place for the poor little oh, no, thing. No, no, no. Marion's right, man. We mustn't be selfish. After all, the, the baby's welfare comes first. Don't worry. I'll take her back to Fitzwater Hall with me and do my best to find her parents. And if they don't want to, well, I'll keep her until I can find a really good home for her. Oh, Marion, you're wonderful. Little John, fetch Marion's horse and um, fix up a basket for the baby. I'll, I'll walk part of the way with you. <coughs> Well, this is as far as I go. Is she all right? She's fast asleep. Let me know if you find her parents. I will. Goodbye, Robin. Goodbye, Marion, and thank you. Now remember, it's Lady Marion you're looking for. The Lady Marion is alone, and I fully expect she will be. You will let her pass without a word. However, if she has a baby with her... If she has a baby with her, you will arrest her and bring her to Nottingham Castle. Very good, sir. Where's Robin? Hello, Friar. Sit down and I'll get you some nice, cool goat's milk. Oh, thank you. Goat's milk? Since when do outlaws offer their guests goat's milk? It was left over from the baby's dinner. Baby? Yes, we found him in the forest this morning. So that's what they did with it. What do you mean? I think that baby is a trap for you outlaws. Could a baby trap us? I'm not sure. All I know is that a, a baby was taken from its mother by the sheriff and brought into Sherwood. Where is it now? Who? Oh, the baby. Well, Lady Marion took it with her. She said... Marion! Wait a minute. Perhaps the baby wasn't a trap for you. Suppose it's a trap for Marion. In that case, we'd better try and stop her. And Robin. Come on, Derwin. Hello. Something wrong, Mr. John? Robin, Friar Tuck says that the sheriff planted that baby in Sherwood as a trap. We're afraid Lady Marion may be in trouble if she's caught with it. If we cut off through the hazel cups, we might just be able to hit her off. Come on. Like the Lady Marion now. 
Remember, if she's alone, the sheriff's set to let her pass. Come on. I'm not taking any chances. Pardon, lady. I'm afraid I must ask you to stop. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, milady. I'm just carrying out orders. I have to know what's in here. That's no concern of yours. Now, out of my way and let me pass, or the sheriff will hear of this. That's just it, milady. The sheriff wants to know if there's a baby in there. A baby? What of it? Then you admit it. I admit nothing to you. If the sheriff is so interested in my private affairs, let him ask me himself. Well, oh, milady. In that case, we'll have to take you to the sheriff. You're under arrest. Arrest? Oh, your behavior is outrageous. We'd better get that baby back right now. No, that's the worst thing we could do. If we attack and free Marion, it'll prove her guilt in the sheriff's eyes. You will have to answer some questions yourself. When the sheriff hears of this. Oh, what's the matter, my lady? Put your arm, you will. No, it's, it's nothing. It's... It must be the heat. I, I feel a little faint. Perhaps some wine. The blue boring's just ahead, milady. Perhaps we could get you some refreshment there. If you could ride just a few steps further. Yes, I think I can manage it all right. It's not far, is it? No, milady. Good girl, Marion. Now, if we can get to the blue boar before they do, come on. <laughs> What are you doing here? Lady Marion and two sheriff's men will be here at any minute. Now, she has with her a basket. You must get that from her. If that basket falls into the sheriff's hands, Marion will be in great danger. I'll do my best, Robin. That's a good girl. They're here. Now, go out and meet them and do your best. Good day and welcome. Good day, milady. Never you mind about this, milady. You look quite worn out. I'll take care of this for you. That's very kind of you. Now, my girl, you leave that alone. Off about your business. Glass of wine and some ale. Well, where do you think you're going? You stop here. Keep an eye on things. Hurry along, lass. Don't stand there gaping. I couldn't get it, Robin. One of the men stayed on guard. As soon as you can, go outside and distract his attention. Right, Bobby. That, that shouldn't be hard for a good-looking lass like you. I'll watch for any chance you can give me. Don't you worry about your basket, milady. There's only my friends in the kitchen, and they wouldn't steal it. You're all alone in the boiling sun, going thirsty. Well, no, that's what I call real friendly. How can I thank you for saving my life? Oh, there's no need to thank me. Just seeing you enjoying yourself is thanks enough for me. Ah, oh, you're a sweet lass, you are. <sighs> now then, my lady, we'd best be on our way. What do you mean by deserting your post? Answer me! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't desert. I only wanted a drink. Checkmate. Well, that's 20 crowns I owe you now. You'll owe me still more, Sheriff. When your men bring in Marion and that baby, one hundred and twenty crowns, to be exact. I'm not worried. Marion is no more in league with Robin Hood than I am. If you're so sure of that, perhaps you'd like to raise the wager. Another hundred crowns. An excellent idea. 
Is it any fair to warn you that I've just seen your men bringing in Lady Marion? What? With the basket, which I imagine contains that baby. About the additional hundred crowns. The wager still stands. I trust my judgment of Marion. Lord Sheriff, I demand an explanation to this indignity. Your men have dared to arrest me. Very pretty, my lady. But if you don't mind, we must see the evidence. What does he mean, evidence? He is sure, Marion, that what is in that basket proves that you were in league with Robin Hood. Ridiculous. Me consort with a common outlaw. How absurd. If you want to know what's inside this basket, I'm perfectly willing to tell you. Please. And I also... No more of this play acting. It's very clever of Lady Marion, but it won't do. Let's see the evidence. My Lord Severn, is this the evidence you were talking about? But my Lord, I heard the baby cry. You stupid idiot. Don't you know the difference between the mew of a kitten and the wail of a baby? Marion, a thousand apologies. Get out, you fools. That's what I was trying to tell you. It was a baby kitten. A present for my nanny. This is some kind of trick. I think not. And by the way, my 200 crowns, if you please. My lord, I, I don't understand it. Here's Giles' wife and she's got the baby. How did you get her back? I... I come to apologize, my lord. I... I didn't mean all those things I said. I should have known I'd get Molly back again safe and sound. Oh, please don't hold it against John. I said who returned her to you? We found her on the step half an hour ago. There, you see? Are you satisfied now? Marion, my dear. I never doubted you for an instant. Thank you. But really, my Lord Sheriff, aren't you going to be the laughing stock of the whole shire? Sending your men to arrest a kitten? <laughs> well, need you mention it? If there's anything I can do... There is. That 200 crowns you've just won from Lord Severn. Certainly, my dear. Severn, pay up. For you. Oh, no, I couldn't, my lady. Take it. After what you've suffered, you deserve a great deal more. And if anyone should threaten your husband again, just let me know. Oh, thank you, my lady. Goodbye, my lords. And now, my lord sheriff, with your permission, I will leave also. Goodbye, Marion. And thank you for being so understanding. From now on, I'll run things my own way, including my method of dealing with outlaws. Here he is, the real hero, safe home at last. Here's to the littlest outlaw of all. I'm the littlest outlaw. Riding through the glen, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men, feared by the bad, loved by the good, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood.